close your eyes and watch your breath coming in and going out. As for anything else, you let it go. This is a basic principle in the practice. We hear so much about letting go, letting go, but there are some things you have to hold on to if you're going to let go skillfully. Right now, one of the things to hold on to is the breath. Watch it coming in each time it comes in, all the way in, all the way out. Because if you hold on to that, it's a lot easier to see when the mind is getting ready to move off in other directions. If your grasp of the breath is loose, then all these other movements can take place in that loose grasp, and suddenly you're off someplace else entirely, and you wonder where you, how you got there, how you're going to get back. Well, getting back is not hard. Just drop wherever you are, and you'll be back with the breath. When we say that your grasp has to be consistent, it doesn't mean it has to be tight and constricted. You let the breath have its freedom, but you just keep watch up over it each moment of its coming in, each moment of its going out. As I said, this is a principle all the way through the practice. We have to hold on to our precepts. There's some things that we just don't do regardless. And that's our gift to ourselves and other people. The more universal our application of the principles, we're not going to kill, we're not going to steal, no illicit sex, no lying, no intoxicants. The more consistently you abide by that, the more people are protected, both yourself and everybody else around you. So you hold on to the precepts so that you can let go of anything else that would pull you in the wrong direction. The same principle with concentration, the same principle with discernment. You hold on to certain ways of looking at the world, seeing your actions as really important, that they're going to have an impact not only now but way on into the future. So you want to be very, very careful. You want to hold on to that belief as long as it's necessary. Take that as your working hypothesis, and that makes you more careful about your actions. There are good results you see immediately. So not everything is let go, let go. There's some things you've got to hold on to if you're going to let go of the unskillful things first, to hold, learn how to hold on skillfully, because that is what provides you with the foundation for the point when you ultimately get to let go of everything. But that ultimate point doesn't come unless you've learned how to hold on skillfully in the meantime.